Live from Studio 5 in New York City, this is the News at 6. When we come back, coping with stuttering is something that many Americans struggle with each day. Next, we'll be joined by a pair of special guests who will tell us how to overcome the adversities associated with this communication disorder. And back we are right now with our feature story tonight, focusing on the communication disorder known as stuttering. It's something more than three million Americans deal with on a daily basis. And joining us tonight to talk about it and to uh, find ways of coping with it is our Emmy award-winning journalist, John Stossel, and also a spokesperson for the Stuttering Foundation, and Dr. Heather Grossman, director of the American Institute for Stuttering. Uh, listen, it's so good to have you both here. This is a very important subject, and I think we all agree that this deserves attention. I think so. Thank yeah. you. I, I agree. We oh, you have a lot of helpful advice, too. Absolutely. Gonna, and, John, a lot of people don't realize that you've had this problem, still have it. And have this problem yeah. still. Yeah. I'm, I'm almost cured. Well, you're more than that. Uh, we've talked for a while, and you really feel good about what you're doing, and I, I appreciate that. I, I want to hear your personal story and your tips in a minute, but first, Jessica Formosa shows us how some local teens are coping with stuttering. Watch this. And always end up having the courage. Darian Hobby and Julia Stutter. The teens receive therapy at the nonprofit organization American Institute for Stuttering, where they are also part of a support group. Before coming here, Julia and Darian tried other therapies they say would only focus on fluency. With like those therapies, and I would never uh, tell anyone I. It started, it was like just about and hiding it and um, uh, um, and like making it go away. Darian is a professional drag racer who lives in Louisiana. He traveled all the way to New York to find a different approach. What I'm learning now is that 99% of what I learned was mostly just kind of band-aids for their problem. It was mainly to fix the fluency, not so much knowing in my mind that it was okay uh, being blocked up. Most therapists focus almost exclusively on the physical aspects of stuttering where they're actually trying to change the way the person speaks. An approach Dr. Heather Grossman, director of American Institute for Stuttering, says only works in a therapy setting. Very often, the desire to not stutter creates almost like an emotional state that frankly makes it impossible to access the tool. American Institute for Stuttering wants those who stutter to feel comfortable and be good at stuttering. It's okay to not like stuttering, but we, we need to have a positive way that we can deal with it. In the Flatiron District, I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News. All right, Jessica, thank you very much for that. Uh, Dr. Grossman is here and John Stossel. We just heard you talking about how this thing shouldn't be horrible. We should, we should learn how to deal with it and, and make it better. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, we find that, th that in accepting it, people can find that they really can change the way they speak and mm -hmm. how they feel about themselves as communicators, and that that really helps a lot. Yeah, and John, you're an example. I mean, you, you, you had a problem at five years old, you were telling me, and, but you got some help, and it really has made a huge difference in your life and also in your career as a broadcaster. Totally, but yeah. I'm not an example except of the other approach. Mm -hmm. They're really are two ways. I found a clinic, the Holland's Communications Reconstruction Center, right. and they re-taught me how to speak. I was going to quit my job in television. Wow. I was just miserable anticipating my time with the anchor like this. Yeah, yeah, sure. But it's really boring, and mm. to practice is over boring. Over and over again. But, but I was driven. Doing. My job was on the line, so I did it, and I did a 2020 well, piece on it. you had this incentive, too, This right? is the cure. I yeah. had the incentive. And people wrote saying, it's not the cure. It didn't work for me. This is Heather's point. Uh, right. A lot of people uh, are better off learning to go ahead and stutter. Well, y listen, you have a plan, right? Uh, and, and what you teach and so forth. We have a whole list. I'm going to put it up on the screen, in fact. These are better ways to cope with stuttering. Well, what I have to say, yeah, it's more that, w just what John said, it's more that one approach doesn't work for everyone. Right. It's not that I'm going to say mine's a better way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that 
it doesn't work for everyone, just right. the way John did. Okay. And you have to almost have the a certain incentive and a willingness to practice, and frankly, a willingness, as John said, to re learn how to speak. Yes. And a lot of people say, I don't want to relearn how to speak. Well, there are so many different ways you can do it. Uh, quickly, what, what's the, the, the worst thing you can do? Try to avoid because you're afraid you're going to stutter. Mm -hmm. that just I did that for years. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the best thing you can do? I think face it. And, face it. And Live up to it. Is that what you did, John? No, I got help and yeah. learned to make it go away. Some people would say I'm stifling my real self because I'm not stuttering anymore, but I like it better. But you it, also found that, you know, <laughs> that, that it helped you to be able to just deal with this thing head on, right? Yeah, to spend two full weeks relearning how to make each sound. And I could then relax and know yeah. I'm going to get through this thing. I, I, I love the story. You know, I mean, to, to hear you go through this and how you have really conquered this, you really have. And, Doctor, you're helping so many people. I congratulate you both. I thank you so much for bringing more awareness, you know, to this uh, issue of stuttering. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Eric. Thank Keep you. Keep up the good work for all Thanks of you. Thanks so okay? much.